I walked into the Villa Emo and that entire villa and most of his villas were built using these musical harmonies, the proportions of music. And I grew up in my family von Trapp, you know, playing music every night after dinner. And I looked at it and I saw the music and I started sobbing and I lost my mind. And I was like, this is what I came for. But then you go back to, you know, college and I went to graduate school at UCLA. They've never had a tree on a plan, you know, <laughs> like it's not a thing. They don't talk about sacred geometry. You know, it was about deconstructivism, right? This is the time of, you know, Morphosis and Daniel Liebeskind and these aggressive, you know, fractured steel. I'm like, what are we doing here? Like, we have to heal the planet. We have to, you know, that, that beauty that's like, I literally had seen God through the building, but also like I heard the building basically kind of singing to me and buildings. I mean, architecture has been compared to music. It's very similar because it's a series of proportional relationships, but the time element has been taken out. So what, whereas music happens over time, a building is fixed and could be fixed for thousands of years and you experience it by moving, but time is frozen. And so I was all excited about these things and basically <laughs> nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. 